Fallout 3 is one of those timeless games that we can always come back to and say, damn, this gameplay is clunkier than trying to watch a deep fake of Barack Obama twerking. What if we took that clunky gameplay and made it a bit more challenging, like using my voice to control everything I do? It's time to answer a question literally no one has had the boners to ask. Can you beat Fallout 3? using only voice commands? It is time to end this epic trilogy. After two excruciating episodes. Yo, I'm doing it. I'm, it's actually working. Actually, we don't talk about this one. After one excruciating episode, it is time to finish the final game in the series. I want my name in the history books. I wasn't there when Martin Luther King gave his speech. I wasn't there for the moon landing. I wasn't there when Bethesda created the greatest video game known to mankind. Battle Royale Tetris. Oh, woohoo! Yes, baby! This game is fucking awesome! But I will be there for when someone beats Fallout 3 using only voice commands. There is only one rule this run. No touching my keyboard unless I type my character's name. Let's get to work, gentlemen. We got a wasteland to save. Being the Brad Pitt of gaming is not an easy task. I have spent hours mastering my voice command craft. Let's do a quick rundown for those of you that have not seen my other videos. I put voice commands into a program called VoiceBot. God damn, I have a diaper booty. <laughs> Drive DMI. <laughs> okay, all right, man. Diaringus Poop Sock Bath Water Awesome! Alright, at least the commands are working. Woo! I make each voice command do something specific in game, like turning left or right. This in turn allows me to move my player character in game. Each of my words are tailored to a specific command and action inside Fallout 3. Me and my voice commands, we stick together like sweaty butt cheeks after a workout, and I have a bible's worth of commands just for this run. I'll quickly show you guys my basics. Diaringus makes me go forward, foot lettuce makes me go backward, trampoline fart makes me look left, poop sock makes me look right, crapalanche is my look up command, bath water is my look down command, roblox is my interact command, and finally bob saget is my jump command. Now that we understand how it works, let's bust this nut. There I was, birthed out into this world from my dad's butthole, and he named me after a guy who promised him a prize. At this point, I have become quite acquainted with these voice commands, so this was just a walk in the park. Diaringus? Funny word? Funny word? <sighs> I already don't feel like doing this. It was time to pick my special. Charisma, intelligence, and agility are my go-tos this run. After spending more time with my dad, it was now my birthday, and with my least favorite people in this world. But on this birthday was when I realized that I was born for this shit. Spum? Spum? <sighs> okay, okay. We just gotta look left. Trampoline fart? Spum? Turbo poop sock. Oh, yes! Oh, I am the Brad Pitt of gaming. I killed my first creature with voice commands and then was off to take some test. Like everyone else who has played Fallout 3 more than once, I kinda cheated, choosing speech, small guns, and barter. And now, ladies and gentle boys, it's time for my favorite part of the run, the moment we were all waiting for. Looks like my father did what any usual deadbeat father would do. He... He... Fuck. I have no idea where I was going with that. Ugh. Future Senza, take that out. Please, man. Holy fuck, jumps, dude. Man. Just please take that out. Please. I'm tired of this shit. You're fucking washed up. Please. I'll take it out. I'll take it out. I'll take it out. I made my way through Vault 101 and ran into someone I never thought I would see, my arch nemesis Fernando. Rad roaches are the bane of voice commands. With every rad roach and their mothers trying to eat my ass, I made my way to the overseer, gave him a bit of that lead justice, and then tried to kill Anata too. I made my way out of the vault and Diaringus right out that door. Now it was time for the fun part. I equipped my belongings and began on my way to Smith Casey's garage. This is going to be a long one. Uh, guys. This... <laughs> Fuck! There's something chasing after me. Uh, dude, come on! During my travel to Smith Casey's garage, I got my butt fingered by a couple of bloat flies, but it actually wasn't too bad. I made my way into Suckfuck's garage and was actually assaulted. They clapped my cheeks so hard, I hit my first freeze. 
Spum. Spum. Say right. Spum. Spum. Roblox. What? No! No! No, no! Uh, the game fucking froze. Uh, dude, if I don't have an autosave, I'm literally shoving this headset in my ass. Come on! I made it down further into the garage and enjoyed smiting down a couple of mole rats. I sat my thick ass into my porta potty and was ready to play some VR hentai, baby. Tranquility Lane was ready for my dicking. Remember how I said I was a Brad Pitt of gaming? Remember how all the news headlines call me the equivalent of Tom Cruise but the Fallout version? Let me show you what testosterone actually looks like. Boop suck. Roblox. Bath water. Poop suck. Roblox, turn around, turn around, Crapalanche, 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 Poop Sock, Diaringus, Trampoline Fart, Roblox, turn around, turn around. I know, it's hard watching this video and not thinking, God damn, I wanna smash Senza. So far, life was good. Doing this quest skip, I'm able to skip a little over 30% of the game. I talked to my deadbeat dad and even went outside and beat a mole rat to death with my fists because I forgot to equip my weapon. Now it was time to head to Rivet City. Easy peasy walk in the park. I'm not even worried about it. Diaringus, Bob Saget, turn around. Turn around. Uh, uh, oh. Okay. I got to Rivet City and discussed what the next step was with my daddy. He owns Microsoft, by the way. And if you don't like and subscribe, he will send Amazon Predator drone missiles to your house and murder everyone but your puppy. Anyway, the plan involved invading the Project Purity site, so I went off on my way to get there. While leaving Rivet City, I made a rookie mistake. Roblox? Roblox? Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Alright, I forgot. Everybody knows that when you drink from the toilet in Fallout 3, your game fucking fr I made haste to the memorial and took out a couple of super mutants. After traversing my way to the gift shop, I got inside and hacked the turret. I then continued on my holy cleansing, ridding the filth out of this gift shop. Spum. Spum. Save these just for you, baby. Roblox. Woo! -hoo. Get shit on. Later, bitch. Fucking. Are you kidding me? The, 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 the brute has like two health left. Are you kidding me? Bath water. That's. That's. Spum. Roblox? Okay. Later, bit. What the fuck? I went to go clear out the last room and had fun with another fucking brute. Now I'm stuck in here. Alright, whatever. Just take me, dude. Oh, holy shit! I got to Big Daddy, told him of what I had done, and of course, it wasn't enough after clearing out all those damn super mutants. I diaringus my way downstairs, took a quick nap, and then did his bidding. Thinking that it was over, now he wanted me to replace a few fuses. I mean, I guess, yeah, that's simple enough. Okay, thank God that is fucking done. DRAIN THE INTAKE I traversed through the pipes and then the enclave attacked. I wasn't able to watch because of my voice commands, but trust me, they did. The super mutants I killed earlier replenished my Amazon Prime grenade stash, so we were all good on this one. I made it through killing two intimidating baddies and just like that, my dad was gone. Again. I couldn't let the sadness engulf me. It was time for an escape. A trampoline fart. Trampoline fart. Trampoline fart. Down in the sewers, it was pretty straightforward. I just went straight and clapped a couple of ghouls with vats. Eventually, we made it to the Brotherhood of Hype Beast. God bless. My saving grace. I hate these fucks. Dr. Lee introduced me to their zaddy, and I waited for their chit chat. I talked with the grandpa, admired his fit, and then awoke the poor old man so he could tell me the whereabouts of the geck. Before I head off though, I have been thinking for a while. I need a companion. I need someone by my side, cuddling me when the nights get dark and wiping my ass 
voice every time I poop, because imagine doing that with voice commands. Star Paladin Cross told me she would be honored to do the job, and so was I. She was the best candidate to carry me for this run. It was time to get this gek and finish up this job. This is what fast traveling looks like with only voice commands. Down. 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 Right. 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 Down. Right. Spum. I traveled to Smith Casey's and then hauled ass to Little Lamplight. I told the kids to let me in because I'm good at Fortnite and could teach them how to build better, and because of my speech level, I got inside. I made it to the back, trekked up the stairs, and then fucking remembered I had to talk to Mayor McGreedy. Mayor McGreedy tried to throw some hands with me, but eventually he let me into Murder Pass. A bit of diaringus and trampoline farts later, Cross and I were ready to take on the world. Let me tell you something, we are an unstoppable team. I mean, god damn! I have never seen so much synergy between two pe- Wait, what? No. No, no, no. No. After taking out the remaining super mutants, I checked on Cross. She actually died. I completely forgot that companions permanently die in Fallout 3. This death felt like a circumcision to me. She died valiantly to a super mutant brute trying to protect me. I enjoyed my two hours with her. She will be missed. It was time to enter Vault 87. It started off with one of my worst nightmares, and I was worried. But this shouldn't be too bad, with my backlog of frag grenades. Vets. Spum. Spum. Roblox. Yo, see you in burrito hell, you fuck. In due time, I got to Fox, and it was time to let him out of his holding cell. Before this run, I made sure to do a quick run through of Fallout 3, so I knew exactly where to go. I got right to the control room, released my boy toy from his containment cell, and watched as he pounded and played patty cake with some super mutant butt cheeks. This part was honestly quite easy, but finally I got to the end and Mr. Patty Cake retrieved my geck for me. I made my way back, and oh! It turns out the Enclave kidnapped me for being the Tom Cruise of the Fallout universe. That's fine. They obviously don't know what I'm capable of. Diaringus, come on. Dude, what the fuck? Oh my god. Yeah, alright, yeah. Okay, whatever. Alright, on to the next one. Dude, f I fuck, like, what the? Alright, let's keep on going. I can do this. Uh, just fucking take me. I hate this fucking game. I hate it. I hate this piece of shit. Fuck. My anger led me to finding out that the Enclave are weak to plasma rifles. Interesting. It's time to talk to the president. Of course he's at the top of the staircase. God damn it. I convinced the president to off himself and watched as his men took the Enclave to Pound Town. God bless that man. I almost had a close call and had to change my undies, but getting out there was simple enough. When I exited the Enclave base, there was my dad, waiting outside like he was picking me up from preschool. I recruited him and then prepared myself for the last part of the game. This shit was actually coming to an end. I fast traveled back to the Citadel. Go down now. Go down now. Go down now go down now. And now it was time to finish this fucking AIDS. The trilogy was nearly over, but one last thing needed to be done. I returned to the Citadel, talked to the hype beasts, put on their new fuckboy tracksuit. It's limited edition by the way. You get one if you pre-order the Voice Command Trilogy box DVD set. It was now ready. It was that time of the month and Liberty Prime was in heat and was ready to fuck any communist in sight. This was going to be a piece of cake. For once saying that statement actually came true. I diaringist and followed behind Liberty Prime, observing as he pounded everything he possibly could in sight. I really enjoyed this part. Stress-free gameplay is great. I got to the gift shop and had a little confrontation with the Enclave. Fortunately, I still had kryptonite for them, and then got to Colonel Dickfuck. You may be thinking, oh no, Senza's totes fucked here. Nope, Fox took care of that trash before I could even trampoline fart to the left. With that out of the way, it was time to save the wasteland. I was worried about this part, because I knew that putting in this three number code was going to be incredibly difficult using voice commands. But I learned something today. If you don't put the code into Project Purity, the game still ends and you still get that W. Easier than playing a game of Yahtzee with my butt cheeks. And there you go guys, it was done. It was finally fucking done. The trilogy is over. After all these trials, training, tribulations, the voice command trilogy has come to an end. You can beat Fallout 3. 
with only voice commands. I mean, even though I am probably going to be forcefully admitted into Arkham Asylum, it was worth it. Thanks for watching my friends and be sure to like, subscribe, and join our Discord so I can kiss your butts. Be sure to tune into next week's video. Can you beat life as a magician and not disappoint your parents?